All right, so as you guys know, Andrew messed up his knee pretty bad, so he's not able to drive the GT500. Um, he's pretty anxious to get it on the dyno, get a tune on there. Uh, he's still contemplating whether or not he wants to do a tune before upgrading the fuel system, just so it's a little more drivable than it is at the moment. But we do need to break in the clutch before we can do that. So um, I, you know, he had to twist my ankle, but I decided to go ahead and drive around the car for him and do the break in process. I kind of want to get my neighbors on camera because they hate loud cars and this car is obnoxious. So I'm going to try to set up the camera facing them while I start the car. All right, so. I'm gonna see if I can get the camera. She's outside getting ready to like go for a walk, but she's come over when I had the LS240. I'm like, ah, oh, we're not gonna be able to see her. She's come over like yelling, hey, why don't you have that car on? So I'm gonna try to wait and set up the camera to get her reaction. Did you buy a Shelby? Uh, no, just working on it. by the way are for sale. Oh my god, shut up, focus. These wheels are for sale, BC Forged, RZ10s I think, with Toyo R, Triple Eight R's. So send me a message if you're interested. Five by 108 lug pattern, so fits all focuses. Came off of Focus RS. Uh, just send me a message on Instagram, at Zach underscore Calvin. We're gonna go ahead and drive this beat. What do you think of the chop? What do you think of the sound? It's so loud. It's so loud. So little man's gotta come with us. You like the Mustang or the Camaro better? Camaro. Yeah, buddy. Camaro and Mustang. Dude. I said the Camaro and the Mustang. Which one's louder? This one. This one? Do you want me to make mine this loud? Yeah. Yeah, you do. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. So we're just taking the GT500 uh, to Publix real quick. You wanna make sure you get city miles in. I've got the windows closed, so hopefully you guys can hear it pretty well. The car is a tad bit choppy. Neighbors love it for sure. Buckle up. So the drivability of the clutch is for a twin disc is pretty incredible. For those of you that know, we were kind of rushing to get the GT500 put together, working on it for like two days straight, no sleep. So the first time we measured the slave cylinder, we didn't necessarily do it correctly. Um, we knew for sure that it needed the spacer. So we just went ahead and put the spacer on because the measurements without the spacer were way out of spec. 
what we did not realize was that the spacer was the wrong thickness. So we ended up blowing up the slave cylinder. I had to go and uh, help Andrew push the car into the trailer, insert clip. Turn it to the left a little bit. Yep. Left. But him and uh, Modular Head Shop got everything measured for the new slave cylinder. It feels incredible. I'm shifting with, you know, barely putting any pressure onto the, onto the pedal. Key thing to do when you're breaking in the clutch is, one, make sure it's city miles, you're shifting a lot. Also just, you know, downshifting. Make sure you're going through the gears. You're engaging and disengaging the clutch disc. But yeah, I mean, I can't say enough. I'm running the Mantic, obviously, in my car, the Camaro. Um, this triple disc feels like a stock clutch, you know, as far as like pedal feel. I'm not having to put a lot of effort into pushing the clutch pedal down. Uh, the engagement is incredible. It's not super low to the ground. It's not super high. I was gonna give this lady some sauce, but decided against it. So yeah, I have absolutely no complaints. Car is not tuned right now, so I mean it's got a base map on it, but it's not tuned, so I'm really not going over like 3,000 RPMs, which is nutty to think about how loud the car is without getting too deep into the power band. We'll put the windows down real quick so you guys can kind of hear it. Couple little pops. Oh, the steering is garbage. That's 3,000 RPMs. It's probably not gonna do any justice on camera, but it is so loud. I love it. What you think about it? Something pulled my eye. Yeah? But we gotta make sure not to curb these wheels. So I'm gonna keep looking up here. Otherwise, Andrew will be pretty mad. All right, so slight change of plans. Obviously, you guys haven't seen much content. Uh, we have finished breaking in the uh, clutch. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the miles. Yes, I know everything is flashing on the screen. Service advanced track. We have to get the uh, steering relearned, so driving this without power steering has been a pain in the butt. But, as you can see, there we go. So, 713 miles put on a clutch. Ignore the fact that we're averaging 8.8 .8 miles to the gallon, but that is why we are here to get E85. So basically now that the clutch is broken in, uh, we're gonna take it over to Jordan at Modular Head Shop. I'll let Andrew explain more of what's gonna happen there, but I'm just gonna fill it up with E85 and then drive it over to Andrew. See you guys in a bit. don't love E85 for the power, you gotta love it for how cheap it is. At least here in Florida, 
It was uh, less than $18 to fill up and we were almost empty, so not too bad. I'm definitely not gonna be able to drive one-handed since the power steering isn't working. Ugh. Oh God. most likely just gonna drive over to Andrews without recording because like I said, it doesn't have power steering and I'm dying. Uh, so I'll see you guys when we get there. to steer with my knee <laughs> just to show you guys how easy it is to shift this Mantic triple disc so put it in first gear Look at that. you don't need to surge the rpms I really didn't give it any gas there at all super smooth shifts obviously can't get on it right now since it's not tuned steering decided to come back for like two seconds there and now it's gone and it's back and it's gone hey neighbors we're back with the loud car oh, steering sucks so bad We made it back. <laughs> he broke his leg, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are gonna wrap up the video here. Zach did an awesome job getting the car broken in. Uh, he didn't rip on it or anything uh, because I don't even know if the pulley setup on the car would really be safe. Um, now it is a base tune from Palm Beach Dino, so it'd probably be on point if the fuel pump could keep up with it. Uh, so. We do have some exciting news. Uh, we are getting a lethal performance triple pump fuel system. Uh, that is their, they're actually coming out with a new system, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna try it out on the GT500. I'm sure it's gonna be awesome. Uh, so it's gonna be a triple pump, uh, triple 465s. Um, and yeah, I am super excited to get that on the GT500. We're gonna be doing that with Jordan Modular Head Shop. If you guys haven't checked it out already, Jordan actually started making some videos. Go check out his YouTube channel, Modular Head Shop. Now, if you guys wanna pick up some Mustang Lifestyle keychains, uh, I am gonna be starting some new uh, t-shirts uh, here pretty soon. In terms of injury update, uh, surgery was last Wednesday. I was literally dead in bed for like a few days. I'm starting to feel a lot better. 
I'm probably going to start planning a few more things, you know, so uh, I I'm still can't like drive any cars, but we're actually having my friend Matt come down from Florida. He's going to come down and uh, stay with us for a while, help me out with some business things, probably help me out making some videos, and I'm pretty sure you guys like Matt, so it should be really fun. Um, I've had a lot of friends really help me out, and uh, yeah, so... It's been a little hard uh, with the knee being broken and doing, you know, the daily things, but um, I pretty much took a week off, uh, tried to, you know, get some sleep and stuff like that. So um, make sure you slap the like button down below on this video if you are super excited. Yeah, Palm Beach Dino is going to tune the car. I am so excited for that. And uh, make sure you stay tuned, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment down below, uh, share your favorite video on the channel with your friend. Obviously, views are down this month from, you know, Know, the lack of videos I and mean, you guys know I'm always pretty much on point with a video every other day sometimes every day for a while um, but I just couldn't do it right now so it's it's actually gonna negatively impact me in terms of ad revenue and when I get we get paid the following month so um, it's gonna be a little tricky um, you know trying to pay for everything but um, I'm sure we'll figure out something and I've, I've had a lot of really cool ideas that I've been wanting to try out um, with t-shirts and uh, vehicle giveaways and I have a really good idea so I really want to be able to pull it off and I want to do a lot of awesome things and some cool builds and I want to keep going so um, the knee is definitely going to slow us down um, but it shouldn't stop us so um, and with the support of you guys uh, if you guys want to pick up keychains again link in the description and of course any of the uh, performance parts um, you can text or email or Facebook message and I'll get you set up with a good deal on you know BC coilovers VAP superchargers, Whipple superchargers, and now a pro charger dealer as well. We also sell the long tube headers, LT8, and we're supposed to be doing the uh, F-150 headers on the F-150 here pretty soon, so that should be fun, because that's gonna be one of the only vehicles I can drive for a little while. Um, and then we're also gonna be doing some Fox Buddy stuff, because I'll be able to drive that. And we might dive into a modular head shop built two valve with possibly a automatic in the bullet, but that is uh, just some plans that we have going and of course Matt's uh, Centennial GT will be down here again soon uh, so we'll be able to make some cool videos with that too uh, so anyways we will see you guys in the next one and yeah thanks for being patient